Hey guys, it is a snowy day here and I have my dietitian appointment and some stuff that I have to do for my treatment that I thought could maybe be interesting. So I'm gonna make my very first vlog today and see how it goes. I've already had breakfast and did some makeup, um, but I need a snack and I need to do my treatment work. So I'm gonna do that now. And try a little red hot on this um i love red hot but i haven't had it in a long time so i got scared of it just a little okay so the thing i'm working on today is um this body image worksheet that my dietitian provided me um, if you watch me on TikTok, you've probably heard me say that ARFID has nothing to do with body image, which is true. Um, you don't develop ARFID out of a desire to lose weight. However, um, it is possible to have comorbid disorders and um, I do struggle with body image issues. I just don't talk about it very often because I struggle with it in a way that I worry will sound triggering or upsetting to some people um but it is part of my journey and i don't mind to share it just in case someone else can relate um what i struggle with is an obsession with gaining weight rather than losing weight um i used to count calories really obsessively to make sure i ate a lot in one day um I used to weigh myself multiple times a day, get so upset if I did not gain any weight, feel like I look absolutely disgusting at all times, things like that. I have always been very thin. Um, it's in my genetics. My dad is tall and lanky. My aunt is tall and lanky. My granddad was tall and lanky. It's just in my genes. And um, when I developed ARFID, I lost even more weight, which just made made me even more self-conscious and I really developed this obsession with wanting to be bigger. So we're trying to work on that. Um, of course, I do need to get to a healthy weight. I mean, that is obvious, um, but it's more so the obsession and the like self-hatred that I feel because of the weight um, is what we're working on. You watching the snow? Are you watching the snow? All right, so I'm all set up for my virtual dietitian appointment. Um, if she lets me, I will include some of the appointment. I have another snack, sour cream and onion chips, and a Sprite. Hi, Laura. Hey. I'm, so sorry. I'm yeah. filming today. I'm filming like a vlog about um, yeah. like doing treatment from home. But if there's any like good like tidbits of things that something that you say that I think sounds good or something like can I use it or does that make you uncomfortable? No, please please go ahead. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. I don't know. It just gets annoying when people are like, "Oh, so you're just a picky eater?" Uh, well, I think you. I think you just have to like remind yourself that ARFID is a real legitimate thing. Um, just because one person says differently doesn't disqualify that. You know, there's mm -hmm. tons of research out there, um, tons of ARFID specialists who work with Ar ARFID, like that yeah. is their entire career. People doing even more research on it because they're realizing how much more prevalent it is. Just because one person said otherwise. Guess what I did yesterday? What? I ate pizza rolls. I saw that! That was incredible! <laughs> I just threw my pen across the room on accident. Hang on. I have noticed this week that like, like these chips or like that popcorn or the raisin bran, like 
I feel like I want to eat nothing but those things all day long. But, like at all times, my body's like, I want to boil over some bread. I want to boil over like. I think it's like I went so long without it that I'm like just excited or something. Yeah, yeah. Because that definitely does happen. Yeah. Um, I think I was just getting nervous that I was like, because I want it that bad and then I'll eat it that much and then I'll realize like, oh my god, I ate the whole box of Raisin Bran in like a couple weeks and it's like a freaking family size box. Like, I've ate too much of it. Like, maybe this is like bad. Do you know what I mean? Right. Okay, yeah, but no, but no, don't think like that. There are no good or bad foods. It's a good thing. Remember how, like, a couple weeks ago, like, we, you probably would have done anything to get yourself eat popcorn. You know, now yeah. you are eating it. You need to remind yourself how oh, that's the accomplishment. Where is it? Oh, I did the... See? Yes? What was that? Um, I was like, dang, I got some work I need to do. I think it's okay to say I respect my body. I like my body. It does a lot for me. Like, it does do a lot for you. I think you should respect that, you know? Um, I think that you can say that about your body right now. You know, you still deserve to respect your body and like your body, even though on the other side of the spectrum, on weight. You shouldn't have to be obsessed about your weight either. It's like they just want us to be in this, like, perfect medium. Yeah. I think you do think these things deep down. Like, you want to improve your health. You want to have more time present with your husband. Yes. You know, not that you're, like, stressing over what you ate or didn't eat, you know, or want to eat next week, you know? I think those are the things you focus on to do that. To get there, you choose to respect your body every single day. Yeah. Take action out of respect. Don't focus on the weight. But, like, your body, know that your body, again, it's really smart and wants to be at a place that's healthy, um, that it feels comfortable, and it will find that. Mm -hmm. You know, like, you don't need to put the focus on that because, like, your body... Know where it needs to go. Are you sick of lounging around in your old t-shirts and shorts? Well, do I have the thing for you? <laughs> I have some sweatshirts available. All of the designs are hand-drawn and designed by me and printed through Bonfire. They each feature positive, uplifting quotes such as, Maybe it's not so scary, I am not my bad day, and struck down but not destroyed. These are seriously the coziest sweatshirts I've ever owned, and I swear I'm not just saying that. The designs are also available on t-shirts through Bonfire, and if that's not your thing, I have a few stickers available on my website as well. I appreciate y'all's orders so much, and it literally helps me put food on my table. All right, back to the video. Okay, so dietitian session is over. It went really well because she's amazing. I love talking to her. Um, now, I want to play in this freaking snow before the sun goes down. I got on leggings, sweatpants, jeans, two pairs of socks and boots, long sleeve shirt, hoodie, sweatshirt, hat. And I'm going to put my jacket on. Oh, I love the snow, mama. Thank you. <laughs> okay. It's so snowy! I'm eating lunch so late in the day because I am nocturnal at this point because Cameron ruined my sleep schedule. So I didn't have breakfast until the afternoon, so now I'm having lunch at night. <laughs> but that's okay. Also, I took my makeup off because it was bugging me. So I'm sorry that I look like a mess. But I'm also not sorry because you're used to it if you watch me on TikTok. <laughs> okay, so I've done my worksheets, I've done my dietitian session, I've done my meals. And now I do yoga. We do a lot of um, like stress management type of exercises to help me manage my anxiety. And yoga has been very helpful. Um, I am not that good at it. <laughs> and I kind of just make up what I do. So don't come at me if this isn't like good yoga because <laughs> it works for me.
dinner time, dinner time. I eat these every night for dinner time. Do you think we could get Morningstar to sponsor me? Probably. <laughs> Okay, so I had to remake my nuggets because I put them on the plate and the plate had a brown spot on it and I got nervous that it was like contaminated and that it had contaminated the nuggets. I put it on a new plate but it didn't feel right still so I'm remaking them because my brain hates me. <laughs> it's not the most glamorous dinner in the world but it is my safe dinner. <sighs> I am having to fight the urge to cook these a third time because if you go back and look when I typed in 45 seconds, I accidentally typed in 45 minutes in 45 seconds so I've kind of had to guess on how much I actually microwaved it for and it's like stressing me out that I did it wrong. But I know that that doesn't really matter and so I'm trying to push through that but I am, it's a struggle, I'm fighting it. Okay, so I've done my yoga, I've done my dinner, and now I'm gonna take a shower. That was weird. All right guys, that is it. That is my day. Um, I hope you enjoyed following along with me and seeing what my treatment is like. My treatment used to be a lot more structured than that. I used to have it scheduled out, my meals, my snacks, my exercises, my journaling, etc, etc. But I have graduated from that and get to kind of modify it a little bit more to fit my schedule, my personality, um, which has been great. I hope you enjoyed watching and if you did, give me a like and a subscribe if you want to and I hope to see you guys again soon. Bye!